Hi guys, welcome and thank you for visiting Caroline's Home. Caroline's Home is a channel that deals with cleaning, cooking, motivational, parenting, anything that has to do with homemaking. So feel at home and you're welcome once more. So today I want to talk about habits that make our home look disorganized or untidy and how we can solve all that i'll be sharing eight points so stick till the end so that we can learn and let me know what you do different in the comment section so the first habit is not doing a quick pickup during the day or just generally for cleaning from time to time in your home especially if you have kids or if it is just yourself put those throw blankets where they are supposed to be put the throw pillows in order and just do a quick pick up in the home also ensure that you never leave a room empty handed habit is not dusting your home always dust your home every day even if you just take five minutes and by dusting i mean don't dust around stuff but move whatever you need to move so that you can be able to dust that way your home will stay organized because you can have a clean home but if it is dusty and there's nothing embarrassing like dust people will always notice it even you yourself you just need your home to be clean So the third point has to do with your kitchen as you can see the kitchen i just left it like that there is no order there's no organization and even if it was clean and it is like this even yourself you feel that it's not clean so always put back everything where it's supposed to be yeah if there's anything that needs to be covered like those ones that i had made they were hot that is why i didn't cover it but always make sure that make sure that you cover everything and you put everything back where it's supposed to be if it is dirty utensils put them together don't just lay them on the sink but put them together in a basin is what i was talking about don't just leave dishes all over the sink but take one basin and just put them there if you're not in the mood of cleaning but i always say do some if you are able to do something or if there is anything that you can do in less than five minutes just do it and get over it instead of postponing it And if you like this kind of content, kindly consider subscribing to my channel, hit that notification bell, also comment, let me know what else you'd like me to share in the comment section, yeah.
don't forget the, to clean the sponges that you use to clean utensils. At times you just clean utensils and you put them there dirty. Always rinse them and when you find time, soak them in hot water just to disinfect them. And to remove all the soap, uh, all the oil that has built up in there. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now I think it looks better. As in, when you have, even if you are not going to wipe the utensils and put them away, when they are like that, the main important thing or point is order. Let there be order. And you can see there is a difference between when we came in, everything was everywhere. And now after we have cleaned and yani, there is just a different mode in there kitchen so the other thing has got to do with the mats in the house the mats in the house they hold dust they get dirty depending on the traffic of where you have put them like in the kitchen wow well, even three days it's a lot of time for me that is me yeah so i have to keep on changing them so keep on changing them because even if it's clean and your mats are dirty and they are stinking there's no difference the other point is the fourth the fifth point is always wipe the kitchen cabinets those spills that happen you know you're holding those places with everything you're cooking you're holding the they're opening the doors you're closing them you're passing there something spills so always remember to wipe those places so that they can be clean don't just leave them like that and always keep them locked Number 10, make your bed. Make your bed the first thing in the morning when you just leave that bed, make it. And again, avoid throwing those like clothes on the bed and all that. Just make your bed and let it be organized. Try to keep it organized. Those are things even I, I struggle with. But when your bed is organized, make, there's a difference between making your bed and letting it stay like that without clothes on top and everything. That is because you find play, you, you find a home for everything in your, in your home. So yeah, just make the bed and then put everything where it's supposed to be. Oh yeah. be Point number seven, lock your wardrobe or closet, whatever, however you call it. Keep those doors locked. You know, you just go into a room and everything is open. You, don't, you know how it looks. You don't need to leave it like that. So always lock them so that your, your, your room stays neat. Imagine having a, a bed that is not made and then the closet door or the wardrobe, whatever, they are all open. That room already, it is not even inviting to. To you to you yourself and it is your room so always keep those doors locked closed and remember always to wipe them also point number seven is not drying your towels outside Whenever you are done with the towels, even your kids, those who are old enough to do it themselves, teach them that once you are done in the bathroom, put take the towels outside so that fresh air will just, it, they will dry properly and there will be no funny smells in the, in a room. Yeah, as you can see, I always thought mine there so that anybody who needs a towel, especially my son, he can just pick his and he's done. And so the last point is nobody likes especially if you have combined bathroom nobody likes to go to the toilet after somebody has just come from a bathroom because you know everywhere it's full of dirty water so the point is after you're done with your shower it takes less than three minutes just pour some clean water and then sweep with a broom or whatever you brush whatever you're going to use or just pour clean water to remove all the scum all the soap scum from the floor 
Thank you for being here. Those are the habits that I wanted to share with you today. Consider subscribing and thank you. I don't take it for granted.